My name is Tara Wolpert Levy. I'm the managing director of ads marketing for Google. And I'm thrilled to be here for the first ever YouTube Insights Hangout. So you guys have all reviewed the YouTube Insights report. Uh, you know what? What left out at you as particularly interesting? YouTube is it allows the opportunity for the brand to truly build an audience to engage with in a way that they they haven't been able to through traditional media before. We had a four of this audience is sort of super eager to share content about a brand they love, which is sort of remarkable. Exactly, and I think there was something about you know seventy six percent turn to YouTube first to search when they're looking for video. We call the audience on YouTube Gen C because the behaviors they exhibit are all around curation, creation, community. I think it is absolutely fascinating to look at the audience of those people that are on YouTube. Unlike traditional media, they are defined psychographically. They're not defined demographically. And that does give you a better opportunity for brand engagement. The, the guys that are speaking directly to their audience have the best shot at, at demonstrating that really high engagement. Gen C is 2x more likely to agree that they would rather watch videos posted to YouTube than TV ads. It gets that whole point of engaging with content you love on a platform you love with YouTube versus, again, being forced to watch advertising. Just curious whether any of the guys uh, has anything they'd like to add on, on what they think is unique about the YouTube audience. You know, I think what we see with the YouTube audience is that they're more than viewers, they're, they're engagers. What we see with the way the audience embraces the platform is that it's truly an engagement model. So even something as simple as choosing to skip or not in a true view ad is engagement. And, and it, YouTube brings people together in a way that the other platforms and the other social platforms don't because it, it is about the view but it's yep. about the view plus the engagement. How do you see brands so reacting to the platform and, and how do you think they think about it in their plans today? And is that how you want them to think about it going forward? We're moving from the YouTube as video repository or library to more of YouTube as curated content hub. Put things on YouTube in a way that matter. Uh, schedule it, calendarize it, run YouTube content with a, a content calendar, an editorial calendar, just as you would every any other medium. There's absolutely a migration from thinking about it as a reach vehicle to one that is much more about brand building. And that's where the concept of original content really comes into play. And so how can we help marketers take that journey from simply, it's about placing an ad, or as it was said, you know, coming up with a viral video, all the way through to, we need a brand building campaign and we need to engage this audience. You know, you, you referenced earlier uh, some of the best practices you've seen in, in different areas around what matters in the first five seconds and other things like that. Are you able to elaborate any more on that or, or are those uh, special thoughts? Well, I can tell you one thing that we, we've learned is that especially when, when you're doing series of videos, if we treat the videos like they're individual episodes of a sitcom and start with a, uh, a logo treatment and an open and music, uh, it tends to kill viewership. People, people tend to want to jump right into the content. We're seeing a lot of success running longer form content as pre-roll using TrueView. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you can hook that audience in that first five seconds, uh, you have permission to keep them longer than 15 or 30 seconds, which is very different than the TV experience. People do not want to have a brand forced upon them. They want to be more selective, and I think that's part of the beauty of the TrueView solution. There has to be some sort of reflection of self for an individual to share. In other words, I either want to be the first one to show this to my friends, or I have a great sense of humor, or I'm, I feel um, that this cause is important. How do you suggest that brands measure success? So we look at engagement, we look at uh, influence, we look at consistency, we look at momentum. And if you want to understand this audience, and how they relate to the content, you really need to look more closely at the content than just to say, Captain Sparkles, this is Minecraft, you know, this is not like TV. The cool thing about the platform and about this research is that there's so much available data that you can get really smart about connecting with 
the, the, the right audience and the right mindset, and in particular with the right content. We've really tried to simplify to look at you know the advertising and content that consumers see. I think we've talked a lot about the reach of some of our advertising uh, uh, and content plays out there. Number one, number two, you know once they see your ad, what do they think of it? How do they engage with it? What's the attitudinal change you know that you might measure through a brand survey that uh, that we ultimately see? And then finally, what do they do as a result? Did they share the content? Did they subscribe to a channel? Uh, you know, did they click on a website? As a whole, I think the industry hasn't really started to appreciate the fact that we can track better now what's going on at every second of a view than we ever could before. And there's a lot of learning in what works, what doesn't. Yeah. And, uh, and if you start building your content based upon that learning of how your audience is reacting to your video, and it's just the results that we've seen are fantastic in terms of increasing engagement, increasing complete views. Thank you so much for taking the time. And for folks who want to see the report who have not, uh, you can find the YouTube Insights Report at google.com slash think slash YouTube dash insights.